Like most artists across music genres, jazz musicians are doing what they can virtually to connect with audiences. There is optimism that eventually performances in front of a live crowd will soon return, but something key will still be missing from those jazz concerts, an abundance of black people. Now when the saints, when the saints go marching in, it's difficult to pin down the exact year that jazz was born, but no question, it happened in New Orleans. Sometime between the late 1800s and the early 1920s, the genre has its roots in blues, which evolved from the musical expressions of Black American slaves. From the South, the jazz spread to places like Chicago and Kansas City, but it was eventually New York City that would become the so-called jazz capital of America and the world. Nothing but the blues of ruin. The blues are brewing. Since its inception, jazz has taken on many different forms, but as the genre changed, so has the audience. I go to a lot of jazz performances. The thing that I see missing in the audience are more Black people. It disappoints me every time uh, because I feel like it's our music. It um, is our music. It originated with us. It did. Okay, today it's it's global. It's been, been embraced, you know, around the world, but it's our music that we created. I don't get it either. I, and it's frustrating, you know? And for me as, as an artist, because my world, you know, I've been doing this for 50 years, off and on, mostly on, but I got so frustrated with the fact that I was not seeing a representation of myself in the audience. So I said, doggone it, I moved to New Orleans. How do we bring more black people back to jazz. When jazz left the black community and became something that, because of our reluctance in this country to recognize black genius, as a lot of the black geniuses emerged, we decided that it was our goal now to be apologists for the music and bring it to a level of high art. And what that did is put it in the concert halls like classical music and put it in the museums, but it took it out of the community. And now we have to take it back to the community. We have to put it back at the cookout and blending it into the popular diaspora, taking the black diaspora, which is the popular diaspora. That's really what it is. If you really want to yeah. say it straight, that's what it is. Along with Batiste, the new generation of black artists are finding ways to reconnect jazz to a black audience, incorporating hip hop and R&B. So while we celebrate jazz this month, let's also honor the black artists who gave us this music in the first place and those who are reclaiming its roots. 